Yo, what's going on, everybody? Um, today, I'm back and I'm talking about how I manifested a new job in six months. So I'm gonna give you step-by-step step the steps that I took to manifest a new career path and a new job with a higher paying salary uh, in six months. And I'm just gonna show you what my thought process was, the process that I went through and the process that you can apply to your life, uh, whether you're trying to manifest a new job, a new career, a new partner, a new car, um, a new hairstyle, whatever. Like you can, you can literally bring anything into existence in your life if you truly believe it and you truly give it time and you truly put your energy and effort towards it. I'm gonna explain a couple important concepts. So before I get into my backstory of how I manifested a new job, what I really wanna do so I don't waste your time is I wanna tell you the five steps that you have to take if you wanna manifest something in your life. And I won't say you have to take these steps, but these are the steps that work for me. And this is like how I've manifested a lot of things in my life. First and foremost, you have to set your intention. So this is something that a lot of people are good at. Like we have ideas throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month. And a lot of times we wanna do something, right? We have an idea of something we wanna do. So setting your intention is more than just having an idea. Setting your intention is pretty much having an idea and then making the decision that you are going to, no matter what, follow through with that idea. You know, I think a lot of people have ideas about things that they want to do, but they never make the decision like to pursue it, you know? So you have to make that decision. For me, just to tie this in the, into my story, I came out of college, I took a job that I didn't really want um, at the time. Great, granted, I was grateful to have a job, you know, making money, but the job that I went into was really just me pushing paper. It was me um, just doing a lot of things that were very monotonous day to day. And I knew that's not where I wanted to be, but I took the job because I was like, look, I have student loans, I have uh, I have bills I gotta pay, I have things I have to focus on, you know, that, that require me to have money. So I took the job with that intention of, okay, look, I'm gonna take this job knowing that this is not where I wanna be. So I had the intention, even in accepting the job that I had um, you know, right out of college that I wasn't gonna be there that long. I had the intention and set my intention on moving to something bigger and better. So like I said, first and foremost, you have to set your intention, know what you're going for and make the decision to go towards it. Number two, believe that it's possible. You know, when I came straight out of college and I was in that job where I was really just pushing paper, if I didn't believe it was possible for me to get a better job or for me to pursue something higher than what I was in, my brain wouldn't even operate on that frequency. You ha you know, you have to believe that it's possible. You have to believe that whatever you set your intention to is attainable because if you don't believe it, if you don't believe it, it's never going to happen because you're never going to try hard enough. You're never going to set your energy and set your, your, your intention enough towards that thing if you don't believe it's possible. Number three is visualize it. Make sure that every day you're making some sort of effort to keep that intention in your mind. What I did is, you know, at my old job, what I would do every day, I walked in and out of the doors. And this was just sort of like a trigger for me. So this is great if you can come up with a trigger. Every time I walked into the building, you know, and I crossed through, like I swiped my badge and I walked in, I would say to myself, I'm not gonna be here long. And then I would visualize myself being in a different position, being in a different building, being in a, in, a, in a different environment. And at the time I already had in my head where I wanted to go. I knew the next company that I wanted to move to. I knew the position that I wanted to move to and I knew the area that I wanted to move to. You know, So I would, I would visualize that every day going in and out of the building. So I would swipe in in the morning and say, I'm not gonna be here long. And I'm saying this in my head and then I would leave at the end of the day, and I just kind of like, as soon as I go through that door again, I'm like, I'm not gonna be here long. This is a stepping stone. And I kept saying that to myself over and over and over again. Now, this is where a lot of people, I think, go sideways with manifestation. Manifestation is not something where you can just, um, you can just say things and then they just happen. You know, you can't just say, well, I really want this job, or I really want this car, or I really want this, this person to be my partner, and then don't do anything else. Like, visualization is very important. And saying things to yourself is very important to manifestation because it focuses your energy. It focuses your frequency on a specific thing. And I'm gonna go on a frequency a little bit later, but what you have to understand is all of that visualization, all of that intention has to be followed by action. And that's number four, okay? So number four I wrote down, make sure in your life you're working towards your goal, but you're putting in the action as well. So besides me just, saying, okay, I'm not gonna be here long and I want a new job. What I also did is every day I went home, every day I got home from work, I was applying to other jobs. I was applying to positions that oftentimes I wasn't even qualified for. You know, I never barred myself out of 
applying for a job that I really wanted to apply to simply because the GPA requirement, it, I just, I didn't meet it. You know, I came out of college with a 3.0 GPA, so it's not bad, but it's not necessarily the highest GPA out there. And that does lock you out, technically lock you out of a lot of those positions. But even if I saw something with a 3.3 GPA, I didn't sit there and say, you know what? I don't think I can do this because honestly, what that is, is that's a limiting mindset. You're limiting yourself. You're telling yourself you can't do something before you've even tried it. You know, there's no harm in trying. So literally, I went through positions where it literally said, you need a 3.4 GPA, you need a 3.5 GPA. And I'm like, okay, whatever, I'm gonna apply anyway, because I know I'm worthy. I know that, you know, I have an abundance mindset. I know that I can bring value to this company. I know that I can do the job just as well as somebody with a 3.5 or a 3.6 or 3.7, you know? So take away those limiting beliefs. Don't bar yourself, don't lock yourself out of things simply because you feel like you're not qualified. And then number five, be patient. So it took a while, like in the six months that I was working for the company that I did, you know, as soon as I came out of college, I was applying to jobs this whole time. I was interviewing this whole time. I had a couple positions where I went and I interviewed for the position. I never got a call back. You know, there were, that actually happened twice. Um, I, I applied to two different positions that I was like, okay, this is a position that I, I would really like to see myself in. I applied and I ended up not getting a call back. Had another one, applied, didn't get a call back. And the third position that I applied to, right? Um, and it was a long interview process. It took probably like two months to go through the entire interview process. Um, I applied, had my first interview, and they called me back. I had my second interview, and they called me back. And then on my third interview, you know, I got an offer and I was able to start with a brand new company six months after um, starting with the original company that I was with. Um, and it was really crazy too, because in that time, you know, from, from the first company that I was with to the second company, my salary increased substantially. And I now also had the opportunity to do something else I really wanted to do was go to grad school. You know, the new company that um, I started working for actually had a, a tuition reimbursement program. So I was actually able to manifest two things in one. And one other thing I want to say is the second company that I applied for and I currently work for, um, I didn't necessarily meet all the requirements, you know, on the job application. I didn't necessarily meet the GPA requirement. I didn't necessarily meet the the major requirement. Like my major wasn't the same major as a lot of the other people um, who applied for the same position. But what I did have is I had my experience and I had the confidence. When I went into the to the interview, you know, I didn't disqualify myself when I came in. I didn't say, you know, well, I know I'm not really qualified for, for this position, but I'm here, you know, just because I want to see if I can get it. It was like, no, I'm here because I know I can do the work. And I know it and you have to believe. So when I say believe, you truly have to believe within yourself that whatever you're going for is possible. All right. So to recap, I'm gonna go over it. Number one, set your intention. Number two, you have to believe that it's possible. Believe, believe, believe. If you don't believe it, you're never going to achieve it. And three, visualize it. OK, make sure you have some sort of um, visualization process. Or make sure you have some sort of mantra that you repeat to yourself daily or repeat to yourself on a regular basis that keeps your energy and frequency focused on what you're trying to manifest. Four, make physical changes. Actually have action. Follow that intention. If you don't have any action, nothing's going to happen. Okay, so action, you can think of action as a special sauce. Action is what gets you from one place to another, from point A to point B. You know, you set the intention and what action does is it puts thing in, things in motion. It's almost like a snowball effect, you know? You're packing the snowball at first. The intention is you're packing that snowball. You're putting it together. Two is when you put that action in. Once you put that action in, the snowball starts to go and it starts to it starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually you start to see all these things in your life change simply because you set an intention and then you also have an action to follow it up. And then five, be patient. OK, a lot of times things aren't going to happen super, super quickly. It took me six months to go from being in a job that I didn't really like to being in a job that I loved and that I was extremely, extremely happy to be in, you know? So it's not something that's gonna happen overnight. It's not something that may happen, like depending on what you're trying to manifest, it might take a year, it might take six months, it might take one week, it might take a month. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time and you have to be willing to understand that, okay, look, even though, you know, I'm not necessarily exactly where I wanna be yet, 
let that snowball pick up. The snowball has to pick up momentum and things will slowly start to change in your life. So you're going to start to see little tiny changes here and there. Even if you don't see that one big change altogether, you're going to see little tiny changes here and there throughout your life. And when you start to see those tiny changes move in a positive direction, that's how you know you're on the right path. All right. It could be something super, super small, you know, but look for a little um, pockets of like success, so to speak, along the way, because what the universe does is it'll show it'll give you glimpses of what you're working towards. Right. You know, um, for example, if you're trying to manifest more money and you're trying to manifest a higher salary, maybe in the six months that you're applying to new jobs or starting a business, whatever the case is, you have some client that comes to you and you get your first client and you make a 100 bucks. You know, even though $100 isn't a lot of money and maybe your goal is to make $30,000 or $40,000, it's showing you that, look, you're moving in the right direction, you know, and you're you're focusing your energy in the right direction. And another thing I want to touch on really quickly is um, how your thoughts work, right? So when you're manifesting something in your life, pretend this, pretend this pencil right here is the frequency that you operate on. This is this is the plane of existence that you're on. This is this is where your thoughts lie. And there's so many different planes going up and down. All right. So you live on one plane, but there are literally different channels of existence that you can be on. You know, so we'll call this level one. You got level two, level three, level four, level five, level six, right? And I'm gonna try to explain this as best as I possibly can. So when I was at my old job, I was on this level. I was on level one, right? And I was kind of operating on this frequency and I was living, my physical reality was based on this one level right here, right? But I knew that I wanted to be at level four. The, the dream job that I had, the career that I wanted to manifest was at level four. So what I started to do was I started to focus my thoughts as if I was already on living on level four. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like, yo, you know, I'm worthy of this job. You know, this is the job that I want. I can do this job. And I thought about that job and I was like, yo, I'm already in this. And I started to separate from the level one reality, right? So as I slowly started to focus my energy and my dreams and whatever the case was towards level four, what that does is that points the pencil upwards, right? And your thoughts now start to hit level four. So you're still living on level one. You're still kind of carrying out your life down here on level one, but your energy is now focused on level four. And what happens is your thoughts, which are non-physical, right? What's happening on the non-physical realm will eventually reflect in the physical realm. So what that means is if your energy and your thoughts are constantly, constantly, constantly focused and tuned in to level four, into a new frequency, into a new plane of existence, your physical realm is eventually going to have to match that. It's eventually going to say, you know what? Chris's, Chris's thoughts, it's not matching. It's not matching the plane that he's on. It's matching the fourth plane. We got to go up here and it's going to move up. Doom right there. Boom. And now you're operating on the same frequency that your thoughts were on, even when you were on level one. So what I want y'all to understand is no matter where you are in your life right now, manifesting something and bringing something into existence is simply a process of consciously changing your thought process from level one to whatever level that you want to be on. If you want to be on level six and level six is where you have your dream partner or the pe the person, uh, a person in your life that you really love and care about and, and you get married to whatever the case is. And that's where you want to be. Start to focus your energy from level one to level six. All right. And if you're pushing that up all the time and you're working on yourself, you're like, you know what? I know I'm worthy of this partner. What your physical reality is going to do is say, hey, man, look, we've been on level one, but you know what? All, all his or her thoughts and energy and, and, and intention is going to level six. We got to switch. And then boom, eventually you'll see uh, that you'll switch from level one to level six and you'll be with that dream partner and you'll do what you wanted to do. So it's like that process, sometimes it takes time, especially when you're trying to manifest something big. It's not going to be something uh, that's, that's necessarily going to come quickly or it can, you know, depending on how effective you are at using this method. But I just really want you to understand that be patient, be patient. I think that's the biggest thing. And especially for me, it was about being patient and trusting the process, trusting that, you know, me focusing my energy, my thought and my action on moving from one plane to the next was going to work. And one thing I also want you to remember is even when you're on level one, you're on this one plane right here, your pencil will start to vibrate sometimes, right? Your reality will start to vibrate and it'll, it'll give you, it'll give you little glimpses of level six. It'll jump. It'll go like this. It'll go boom, level six, boom, level six, boom, until eventually it's, it gets so charged up with that energy and that focus that it goes 
and it just sticks and locks in to level six. You know what I'm saying? Um, so hopefully I explained that well. I know this video is probably super long, um, but I really just wanted to share that with all of you because I want all of you to understand how to manifest. Um, it's still something that I'm learning and, and trying to get better at you know, in my life, but it's something that I feel like I really had a good understanding of. Um, and something that I feel like, you know, I've experienced enough in my life to really talk about it. Um, and I really want all of you to be able to manifest what you want in your life. So if you've had an experience as well, please leave that in the comments. You know, let other people know what your process is. And if your process is a little bit different than mine, I'd love to hear, you know, what your process is in terms of manifesting and making things come um, come to be in your life. So uh, I hope all of you have a, a blessed, safe uh, day. And make sure you leave a like. You can follow me on social media down below at the one Chris Jordan on Instagram and Twitter. Um, and I'll be back with a lot more of these videos in the future. This is part of my Elevate series. So you can go check out um, some more of my videos in the Elevate series. Should be up here. I'm going to put a little eye that pops out probably over my head. If not, um, I don't know where it's coming from. You know, it's coming from one of the sides. Um, but yeah, I'll catch all of you later. Thank you for watching. Peace.